Way back in the swirling mists of time, a magical event occurred. Sadly, the swirling mists were too misty, so nobody actually saw what happened. But don't let that bother you now, because it's time to start the film! I would like to remind you that the use of cameras and all electronic recording devices is strictly prohibited during the show. So sit back, relax, put your feet up, slip into something comfy, loosen your clothing, rub lotion on your elbows, stroke your face with fine velvet, drool on your shoes, wear a coat of live kittens, varnish your wooden leg, whoop like a chipmunk, grease up your family, start speaking in tongues, falsify documents, call up a wedding, pounce on a miller, frame a loved one for murder, rewire a blender, tattoo some chickens, melt down a waxwork, wear a helmet of sponge, seduce a blind athlete, set fire to a wool shop, fix wheels on your uncle, instigate violence, lie to a baker, pretend you're on fire, grapple a schnauzer, resemble your parents, harness a mongoose, associate with felons, yodel in a deep freeze place, mislead a postman, adopt a fat child, two-step to rap songs, and walk like a penguin and deny the existence of shovels, because it's showtime! What are you doing? I'm practicing the song I wrote for Andrea. She's coming up here in a few minutes. Why do you waste your time writing songs for girls? Dude, do you need to be so heartless all the time? Whatever. Come in! Hey! Hey! Come in, come in. Sit down. I want to play you something, okay? Okay, cool. Alright. It sounds kind of weird, but... I wrote this for you. I think you're gonna like it. Yeah, okay. It's called If I Didn't Have You. Ready? Yeah, yeah. If I didn't have you, if I didn't have you to hold me tight. If I didn't have you, if I didn't have you to lie with at night. What I'm feeling if I didn't have you to share my sighs and to kiss me and dry my Tears when I cry will I really think that I would have somebody else? If I didn't have you, if I didn't have you, someone else would do. Your love is one in a million. You couldn't buy it at any price. But of the nine point nine 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 hundred thousand other possible loves, statistically, some of them would be equally nice. Or maybe not as nice, but say smarter than you, or dumber but better at sports or tracing. I'm just saying, I really think that I probably have somebody else. Yeah. If I didn't have you, someone else would do. Someone else would try to do. If I were a rich man, I did a diddle 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 d. I guess I would be with a surgeon or a model or any of the royals or a Kennedy or an infomonical exhibitionist heiress to a rather large chain of hotels. If I were a rich man, maybe I would fiddle fiddle diddle diddle with the rich man girls. I'm not saying that I'd not love you if I was more wealthy or handsome, but realistically, there's lots of fish in the sea, and if I had a different rod, I would conceivably land some. Even though I'm fiscally consistently pitiable and considerably less Brad Pitt than Brad Pitiful, am I really so poor and ugly that you reckon you could only possibly love me and I really think that I probably have somebody else? Yeah! If I didn't have you, if I didn't have you someone else would do. Someone else is showing me Look, I'm not undervaluing what we got when I say that given the role chaos inevitably plays and the inherently flawed notion of fate, it's abstruse to deduce that I found my soulmate at the age of 18. It's just mathematically unlikely that in a university in Fort Worth, I happen to stumble on the one girl on earth specifically designed for me. And if I make conjecture or further objection, now there's nothing to do with destined perfection. The connection is strengthened. The affection simply grows over time. Like a flower, or a mushroom, or a guinea pig, or a vine, or a sponge or bigotry, or a banana, and love is made more powerful by the ongoing drama of shared experience and the synergy of a kind of symbiotic empathy or something. So I trust it goes without saying that I would feel really very sad if tomorrow you'd fall off something high or perhaps catch something bad, but I'm just saying I don't think you're special. I mean, I, I think you're special, but you fall within a bell curve. I mean, I'm just saying I think that I would. 
Probably. Have somebody else. I think you are unique and beautiful. beautiful. You make me happy just by being around. around. But objectively, you'd have to agree that baby when I found you, options were relatively thin on the ground. Thin on the ground. You're lovely, but there must be girls quite as lovely as you, or maybe more open to spanking or scrabble. I'm just saying. Probably have somebody else. I mean, I think it's pretty likely that if, for example, my first girlfriend Jackie hadn't dumped me after I kissed Winston's ex-girlfriend Mia at Steph's party back when I was 16, and our variables would probably have been altered by the absence of that event to have meant the advent of a tangential narrative in which we don't meet. Which is to say there exists a theoretical, hypothetical, parallel life where what is is not as it is, and I'm not the center focus of your life, and I am a stuntman living in LA, married to a small blonde Portuguese skier, who when she's not training, does abstract painting, practices yoga, and brews her own beer, and really likes making home movies, and suffers from neck down alopecia. But with all my heart and all my mind, I know one thing is true. And I just want to love and just want to love, and I love that love is you. And if it wasn't for you, baby, you really think that I would probably have somebody else. Yeah. If I didn't have you, if I didn't have you, someone else would show me, someone else would show me, sweet honey. Yeah, yeah. wrong with you? Ugh. Dude, what just happened? Women. She just like ran. Like ran so far away. I mean, that is your come up into writing such a weird song. Wesley, how do you manage to stay out of women drama all the time? Wayne, I like to think of myself as a one-man wolf pack. I'm very content with it. Call it! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, if I didn't have you, if I didn't have you to hold me tight, if I didn't have you, if I didn't have you to lie with at night, what I'm feeling if I didn't have you to share my sighs, and to kiss me and dry my tears when I cry, will I really think that I would have somebody else? If I didn't have you, if I didn't have you, someone else would.